So, we're heading out now. It's real early in the morning. I guess Big Chung has made a pizza last night or three in the morning. What time do you make it? Three in the morning? Two in the morning? I think it was one. I, I don't know. I was asleep because I had to get up early in the morning. Okay? So, it took me approximately 15 minutes to get Big Chung us up. But, we're going to Arkansas. Actually, we're going to Kodak's house to get his trailer because it's got a winch and he don't give a shit to scratch his up. So, we're gonna hook up to his trailer, we're gonna go to Arkansas, me, Big Chungus, Kodak, and we're gonna pick up, what was that? Huh? A freaking cab, baby, that's what I'm talking about. So, we can get hot riding with whole milk. I've been slacking, I've been unmotivated, I've been out my groove for a minute, but Come on, I'm back. A little dinger going on. But we're ready to get to working on these hot rods. It's gonna end up being 60 something degrees a day here in Kentucky. So we're gonna try to at least get it unloaded, get it in the shop, the cab, and or at least get it unbolted from the frame. That might end up taking me longer than I want, but who knows, I think it's like four bolts. No big deal. So we'll see y'all in Arkansas. The boys about to have a road trip, baby, come on. Look at this. I told this man to go in there and get me a water while I'm filling up gas. Let me see that. What would you get? Are you kidding me? A Dasani? If I was dry in the desert and there was only one source of liquids anywhere and it was a Dasani water bottle, I would throw that bitch. <laughs> Watch this shot. I'll throw it at the fucking building. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Kentucky, baby. Louisiana, you know, getting ready to move there. Kind of got to have love for the place. Let me tell you something. Get to wake up every morning that it ain't raining and see that. Kind of, kind of hard to beat. Come on. Always got love for the state. When you pull up to Kodad, Kodad is top notch fancy, okay? You gotta punch your number in to get in the gate. This man, look at this. Gates and shit. I'm gonna have to open them up and come flying up this hill, hit it with a train. Holy smokes, Kodad got the nice driveway too. Yes, hard. Yeah? Yeah. Got him a nice little lake. Hey, Kodad's pimping, man. Four lillers, teeter totters. They got teeter totters. Look at him. You can go to that. What happened? What's going on? Road trip. Yeah, ah. baby. Yeah.
up on the fender. Yep. Did it, Kent? It sounded like it. <laughs> it sounded like if it was, it was just a tire. Oh, it, it caught, I think the rim caught the fender on the way back. I saw a little bump. Dude, in your face. Peace hey, out. Uh, so Kodak forgot his phone oh, yeah. <laughs> on the <a> trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Under the Impala. Under the Impala. We got her. We'll do it. Let's roll. <laughs> when we come up his driveway. Well, I know you've seen us coming down it, but if you've seen us going up it with a trailer, you got to have some speed. It's wild, baby. But we're back on the road. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, we got our cab home. Woo! Yeah. It was a big old glorious trip. Sam's here. He's looking at some stuff. He's probably gonna steal all my shit. What? A bird's nest. A bird's nest. The radio's supposed to be it. Yeah, it's nice. So, looks as if we got a little work ahead of us. Um, first, our biggest goal is gonna be getting it off this damn trailer. And then after that, it's gonna be getting all this shit out of here. Um, or next, getting the cab off and somewhere that we can work on it and it's not freezing outside. That's gonna be our, our big stopper. But anyways, it's home. We're gonna get the cab off, rob a little bit of frame rail, come home, and start putting our junk back together. Yes. All right, so we got the truck unloaded. Uh, we've been kinda on a roll today kind of got stopped up there at once and then Kodak lost his phone and then oh man it was it was great we had to get the Impala off of Kodak's trailer so for 12 hours what time is it 602 in 12 hours go to Arkansas four states away get a truck bring it back load it unload it that's not too bad so I don't know what our game plan is. I think we're going to go think about it, look around the truck a little bit, and then see what we can do because we got some bad weather coming. Not good. Come on. All right, so we're at uh, a secret place that nobody really knows about. And there's this guy that lives here, and he's supposed to be some real bad MF. So. This is an episode in Factor Cat. We're gonna go see if people are pump faking us or if a bat in there really lives here. If he's really a bat in there, we don't need to knock. So we'll just crack it. And... Oh, two bat in there. <laughs> Okay, so last night we went to Boone's, I dropped my intake off. We found out that not only one bad mf -er lived there, but two did. And that's Pops. Pops a cool guy. Anyway, all right, so wake up this morning in a mad dash. Got a shit ton of stuff to do tonight. Apparently, <laughs> Kentucky is about to get murdered with snow and ice. So... I was thinking it's gonna happen tonight. I don't believe it. Yesterday was 60 degrees, 50 off through the night. Just too much heat in the ground to freeze by today when the lows on it. Whatever, I'm not talking weather. We blew a damn trailer tire sometime last night and I didn't even notice it because we was, I, I don't know. Got the trailer jacked up, impact, last one. Uh, so we gotta go to Kodats today, drop off the trailer. And then we gotta come back home to show you guys something freaking nuts. Pops has been out in the trailer, shop. out in the shop, and it's eye-opening. See what I did there? Eye-opening. Okay. It's great. I want to show you right now, but <clears throat> I'm just not going to. It's a surprise. So, we'll see you here in a minute. All right. So, we salted all night. It's freezing cold. We're soaking wet. Raining shit. Still ain't froze, knew it wouldn't. But check us out, ready? Wow. 
That's what I'm talking about. So, Dad said that. Here, come on. So, Dad is saying that he's going to take everything here and it's going to disappear. See what I did there? But he's going to move all that shit out of the way. So there's no there's room in between mine and his truck. I guess he's gonna start working on it. We need to have a sit down talk with Pops, don't we? Yeah, we're gonna have a sit down talk with Pops and get him to start working on his truck again because we're ready to work on ours. So I need to get a plasma cutter and start cutting the floor out of that one. It's raining and it's about to freeze and it's getting cold, so I don't know when that's gonna happen, but. If it don't snow ungodly hard tomorrow and I gotta go plow, this is our game plan. Check it out. So, we're gonna get this piece of the firewall off. So in doing that, we're gonna take master cylinder, um, let's see here. We'll probably take those knuckles off, slide that piece of tin work patched up, and then get that out of there. And then, what else do we got? Is that it? So just the column and all this throttle linkage right here. <laughs> but that won't be bad. I'll unhook it from there and we'll slide up. So once that's done, you know what? And I'm gonna, because I welded this piece of the switch panel in, get that off. I need to get the parachute handle and shit off because. Michael from Freak Show said that he wanted to shoot, so I'm just gonna bag all that shit up and send it his way, because he hooks us up a lot. Um, yes. And then we may or may not take it to Lafitte once we get the cab on, depending on where my pocketbook is sitting, and have them do all the tin work in carbon. So, I don't know. We'll just have to see. I'm buying a little bit of shit here and there, used, new, you know, all that. Man, that camera's blurry, ain't it? <laughs> yep. Yeah. But, anyways, we're a little tired, so we're gonna knock in for some rest. And do you think we could put that video in from us ghost riding the five speed? Oh, yeah. With the grainy low? Just letting it crawl? Oh, but it'll copyright us on the tunes on it. Probably. We might put in like some funky ass music over this video. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Try it's not popping up. I'm trying. There you go. We had to put some jank ass music over it so I didn't get copyrighted for the real bumping tunes it was on. But anyways, good night. See you tomorrow. So we were out uploading a video in a parking lot using the cellular data. Yeah. And something that just occurred. It's kind of wild. Dang. Oh, because the Fox body. Yeah. Some small block Ford Fox yeah. body was broke down. Yeah. Bam. Check it out. Look what we got going on. Got a little bit of a little bit of walking room, some space, you know what I mean? So today we're gonna work on the hot rod. Man, it's been snowing and shit. Today it's finally cleared up. We got it out here. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get some work done. Get that thing over. All right, check it out. I got to work. We got the firewall out of it. We had to disconnect the column. I got the chute handle, all the lines and everything, air hoses. And I got that uh, janky switch panel mount that was on it. So, we'll go pick up big chungus. We gotta get all this stuff out of here. 
and I think I'm gonna get out here and mess with this thing take some stuff off of it we need to I don't really know what but let's see oh yeah we can get the AC box and brake booster and all this yeah get all this stuff off and try to do something with it come on dear lord check out what we got going on man i got out here today sun's out 60 degrees and i just got to doing some shit so pops was out here working on some stuff messing around with a dually and uh went ahead i got the column out of the thing and we tried to get the glass out of the thing but that ain't particularly working i'm not a glass guy neither is dad so uh we struggle with that one we got the back glass out of it we got these poles so that we can pick it up and sit on the trailer because i'm going to take it the cab uh it's unbolted but i'm going to take the cab to the car wash and clean it up because man i just hate working on dirty shit i just can't stand it but uh once we do that get back clear up all this shit all the wiring pedals uh the dash this piece of the dash this skin uh around it um man i tell you what if i can i'm gonna keep these dudes in here or i'm gonna put my old ones in it out of the out of hole or uh the og because i still got them and they're red oh man that bolt right back in there we'll have to see where those gussets are at on that top bar but uh yeah i got everything wd-40 and shit man we've just been out here doing some stuff today garage is all cleaned up i don't know if i told you guys or not or if y'all seen it but we got the shoots and shit off all that jazz is done so i got no firewall it's ready to put back together man these guys it's are tight i don't know if where the cab sits if it'll be bolted in here we'll be able to flip it down or not i don't know we might have to figure that out but that'd be wicked especially driving down the road and just flip them dudes down all right so we're gonna get back to it we gotta wait on drake and big chung just get over here two short guys in the front two big tall guys in the back we'll sit on the trailer load up cedo's truck on a trailer and get it ready and uh Man, we're just getting some shit knocked out today. It's been a good day. Come on. Look at this joke. Got it all cleaned up. Still rough, man. But it's a whole lot better than it was. So we're going to get this dude back home. Uh, load up the glide. Go to Caps's. We got a bunch of stuff to do. I might end the video here, though. So if we do, just know. Appreciate you guys for watching and uh, Yeah, we got our cab. We're ready to cut the floor out of it. We've got a little bit of body work to do uh, But I think when it comes out, we'll have done it ourselves. It'll be nice uh, probably the nicest shit we ever done and I don't know I think it's gonna turn out good though. Come on <laughs>